Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. Bud and I are out and about. He just left his little doctor's appointment. Jackson has an allergy because he's always uh, biting at his backside, right? And he doesn't have fleas <laughs> and all of that. But he has some type of an allergy. So they gave him some medication for that allergy. And they said we should start to see a difference within the next 24 to 48 hours. So I'm super excited about that because I'm tired of Bud just biting and chewing and all of that. You know, we thought it was his food. That wasn't it, you know. He doesn't have fleas. We take good care of him and <laughs> and all of that. And he wears a little Soresto collar, but even that, um, they recommended that we don't use that anymore, but use the next guard. And so, especially by us being on a farm, right? So it just, you know, just to protect Bud, right? So, but they gave him a clean bill of health and he's sitting over there right now he has an overgrowth under his uh, lip. His gum just started growing under his lip. And it's crazy, it's like a little ball, but it's it's his gum tissue that started to grow a lot under his lip. So we have a plan to get that taken care of as well. That won't put him under any stress at all. So. But anyway, he's gonna be doing okay. Y'all know Jackson is always on the farm with us no matter where I go. Bud is right there. If you don't see him, it's because he's chilling in the shade. <laughs> Bud don't do the sun. He chilling in the shade. Hey, Broke, I think I'm in your neck of the woods, Broke Farmer. You gotta invite us over to see that fruit orchard you got. <laughs> Hence the reason for this video. You all saw the video that we released earlier about how you can have years of food if you do this right now. And that is starting to develop an instant orchard for yourself. And you saw where I was. I was at the big box store, the orange big box store. And I'm gonna tell y'all, you know, I love supporting our local nurseries. You know, here in Georgia, I'm always looking for nurseries that are here in Georgia. <laughs> right? I'm always looking for nurseries that are here in Georgia. And in another video, I'm going to talk to you about some nurseries that I use and ones that I really enjoy dealing with when I have to deal with them. The customer service is like impeccable. If there is a problem, I don't have to go no, there's no back and forth and all of that. It's literally one phone call or one email and they'll be like, oh, don't worry, we'll take care of it, right? And so I love customer service like that. And although their trees are a bit more expensive than other nurseries, it's because of the customer service that I keep going back, right? And I just love that. And I'm not saying that they just let people run over them. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that like they will talk you through something and and even help you to understand like if you did something you shouldn't have did <laughs> with your fruit tree. And then you could be like, oh yeah, yeah, that was my fault. I did do that, so it's dead. I just have to buy another one, you know. And but they are very kind with the way that they handle the customer at least that's been my experience and I am so grateful that I can get that kind of customer service from this nursery so again we're gonna talk nurseries um, in another video okay you all but the instant orchard the instant orchard man getting it from your big box store what I mean if you saw all of the varieties and I don't think I even did it justice really I'm like if you saw all of the different varieties that I looked at you know that kind of made me want to even do the video I 
didn't the, the video just didn't do it justice at all there were so many peach varieties so many pear varieties so many plums do you know i realized that that bruce plum is a plum tree that i have always wanted i went back in my notes from 2022 and saw that it was on my list of plums to purchase the bruce plum and the nursery that i was going to buy it from they sold out and then they were so expensive like the following year and that just wasn't a good year for us to buy any fruit trees so i'm thinking to myself wait a minute that was the plum tree that i wanted the bruce plum and dare I go back, it probably won't even be there because I only saw one Bruce Plum there, right? And knowing me, I'll be trying to hit up every orange box though, trying to see if they got a Bruce Plum. <laughs> but anyway, you all, the varieties of citrus that they had from the key limes to the bears limes to, gosh, what was that other lime? I think it was like four or five different varieties of limes there so many different varieties of oranges there right the one thing that i did not see was the kumquat i didn't see any kumquat there whatsoever okay and i'm wondering if they sent them there and they just sold out of them i don't know but no kumquat but every other citrus was there grapefruit was there right and so if you wanted an instant orchard, y'all, you could literally probably go to the orange box store. I don't know where you are, but I'm saying here in Georgia, you could probably go and check and see what they have available in your area. And oh my goodness, y'all, the fig trees, they had the little ones and then they had those that were like eight feet tall, seven to eight feet tall. They were huge and they had several of them. And they had olive trees, things that you don't typically see at the Orange Big Box store. Olive trees, tangelos, my goodness, loquats, what? <laughs> Y'all, that, that loquat got me, right? So, Instant Orchard is easily accessible just from your everyday big box stores. And when I looked at the tags on the uh, trees and saw where they came from, I'm very familiar with where they came from because I've ordered from them before, right? I've ordered from them before with no problems whatsoever. The only issue is, is that when I order direct from them, the trees come bare root, which is what your trees from your nurseries, when you order them, they're going to come bare root, right? And the pro to that is that they can ship you several trees in one box at a time, right? Because they're just literally a stick, a stick and bare roots. That's it. With the little gel stuff wrapped around the base of them. But that's it. So they can get quite a few trees in a box and ship it to you. And then all you have to do is get the tree, put the roots in some water for a few hours to let them hydrate, and then dig out your hole and plant the trees. Backfill the soil, plant the trees, right? So now that's a benefit. Now the one downside to that for me, well maybe two, is that the tree is dormant. So it does take it a little time to come out of dormancy and start producing leaves and whatnot, right? It has to catch up with the season. The second con is the shipping. Sometimes the shipping could be quite expensive when you're shipping those trees, whether you order in one tree or 10, the shipping can really be a, a little costly. <laughs> you know now I know one nursery and again we're going to talk nurseries later they offer you free shipping when you spend a certain amount of money so that's good right that's a pro for that particular nursery but in this case at the big store at the box stores your tree comes in large containers it can be 
uh, five gallon, three gallon, five gallon, 15 gallon, some even bigger than that, okay? Some even bigger than that. I saw, oh my goodness, they had mulberry trees. I forgot to show y'all the mulberries that were on the other side. Those trees were huge. They were 115 bucks, but they were in a 25 gallon container and they were already loaded with mulberries. <laughs> they were already loaded with mulberries. So, oh my goodness, you know. But anyway, I think, you know, and if you want an instant orchard, that would be such a great idea. The soil in the container, it's loaded with roots already. The root development is already present versus a bare root tree right because when you get a tree in the container with the soil it's been it's that's where it's been living for a while and especially when they're that large and has that much growth and then all of the fruit like the figs the fig trees had the fruit all up and down the little stems right so there were tons of fruit on the fig trees so that fig tree is established in the container that it is in so the roots in that 15 gallon container are all around that container. It's just probably just circling around, right? So that's a benefit, that's a pro to buying the trees like that with the growth and development of the root system in the container, ready to go and plant in the ground. You all, blueberries. We picked up some blueberries from the orange big box store now we ordered some from our local nursery we did and when they came in they came in just as a stick right and actually three of those sticks are not looking so good they're not doing good others are doing okay but those are not looking good in fact i think they're just they, they i don't know if they're gonna make it right but thankfully I ordered, oh, I ordered two pink lemonade blueberries because I couldn't find them anywhere locally. I have been on a hunt for those pink lemonade blueberries at every store around me, right? Nobody has them. And so when I went back online to this nursery that I've used before in the past, they had some and I picked up two of them from them and I'll show you those in another video. But thankfully, I ordered those. Now, when they came in, they are beautiful trees, bushes rather. And they came in in a container with soil. They are not bare root. And I'm like, I really thought that I was getting more bare root blueberries <laughs> that I was going to have to wait for. But no, these came in in a soil, in soil in I think a three gallon container and they even got little blueberries developing on them already and the price wasn't bad at all right wow so I'm probably gonna just pull those those little sticks up that don't look so good Mr. H say just give them a chance maybe just maybe they'll snap out of it I don't know you know to me they not looking like they are gonna snap out of anything but I may give them a little while and, and, and that's it. But my pink, my pink lemonade blueberries, you all, I was so excited to see them when I opened the package. I did not know that they were gonna come like that. The box was heavy and I'm like, what is this? I didn't order nothing, you know? And when I opened it up, I saw the blueberries in there. So actually ordering from or, or a nursery it's okay just know that you know you're gonna have to be patient because some things grow very fast some things don't they'll take a little bit of time but getting them from the orange box store some of these things are already producing fruit and ready to go and the trees are two years old some of them are three years old you know and they are producing fruit 
that's the way to go if you ask me that's an option i'll say that that's a choice because even if they don't have everything that you would desire for your little orchard well i'm here to tell you that whatever they don't have that you desire then you can go online to see if they can if you can find it at a nursery online that'll ship it to you right because that's fine there you know i love that pakistan mulberry so I had to order that because I couldn't find a Pakistan mulberry locally. I mean, not like in a box store. I did get it locally from a local nursery, but that's something I had to order, right? Now, while I want the experience of growing mulberries and stuff, I chose the Pakistan mulberry because honestly, I don't want a mulberry where I have to pick all those itty bitty berries, right? I don't want that. <laughs> it's just like when I was growing that um, that little Mexican cucumber, and all of the little cucumbers were this big, and I'm like, that is a complete waste of my time. <laughs> I'm not gonna be picking these itty bitty cucumbers. I mean, they itty bitty, you know. And so I'm like, nah, that's not for me. <laughs> And so the the mulberries that I think maybe a traditional a mulberry, some of them are so small, and I just don't want to be bothered with that. And so the Pakistan mulberries they get quite long, right? And then I think there's one called Shangri La that I want I want that mulberry as well on the homestead. And while it is not as big as the Pakistan mulberry, it is a nice size mulberry, like the size of a really large blackberry if you will okay and so it's to me it's worth it if you're trying to get fruit in the ground like I need them in the ground right now I need them you know large and and you know you just don't want to wait I, I'll say for the tree that comes bare root to get to where the trees that you get from your local big box stores already are <laughs> and not to mention they are good quality trees like i said i'm familiar with the nursery they came from and these are good quality trees i have trees in the ground that we planted this year that have been in containers this whole time and i got them from there and they are doing phenomenal right now. I bought a uh, apple. It's a, a a Granny Smith apple from them two years ago. And it's been in a container for two years. And when we planted it, because of that cold winter we had, I thought it was dead. The, the tree was split. You know, it looked like it just was dead, right? I planted it anyway, but Sage said plant it. Let's see what happens. Boom. <laughs> this thing is producing branches with leaves on it. A Granny Smith apple. Y'all, I'm so glad that we did not toss it. But it's growing, right? So I'm familiar with who this, who this company is. And the fact that you can go directly to your big box store now and just get so many varieties. Now I made a comparison between the blue big box store and the orange big box store. They don't have trees that size. All of their trees are very, very small. So they don't have trees that size, you all. They don't come close, okay? They don't come close. Their trees come from somewhere totally different. So they don't come close to what I showed you in that video. So y'all look, if you want to go ahead and get started with an instant orchard, don't sleep on these places because they have stepped up their, their variety game, I will say. They have stepped up their variety game. They don't just have peaches and pears and apples now, just one kind of peach or one pear variety or one or, or just a tree that says apple and <laughs> you don't know what it is <laughs> or a tree that just says peach and you don't know what kind of peach it is no 
they have truly stepped up their game and the varieties are through the roof okay so you all to be able to have fruit trees growing that fast that large in your yard to me is a win-win situation okay it's a win-win situation so that's something that you all can think about and you all can consider okay now how many trees mrs h would you recommend i put in my yard my backyard or in my space right as many as you can get in your space and as many as you desire for that space okay as many as you could get in that space and as many as you desire for that space some people have like 50 trees and if you've been over to Brooke Farmer's channel, if you haven't been over to, to Broke Farmer's channel, Broke Farmer recently did a video where he had over a hundred trees. Not all of them were in the ground. Some were in containers, some were still developing. But the fact that he had over a hundred trees that he was growing to be able to put in the ground, I thought was phenomenal, right? But I've seen people with backyards with 50 or more trees, 50 trees. And no, they were not planted 10, 15 feet apart and all of that. Nope, that was not the case, right? Some people, had them planted what six feet apart seven feet apart they were not planted very far apart at all some were planted very very close together you all and the way they had them growing they controlled the growth on the trees so that they just not were bushing out everywhere growing to 25 and 30 feet tall no they were controlling the width and the height of the tree by pruning them to a certain height and a certain width and that and they were producing fruit so it was allowing them to be able to maximize on space for their area right all right y'all so look my camera the whole setup fell from the windshield. I guess it got a little too hot out there <laughs> because it let go. It was like, look, I, I can't take it. This is hot. <laughs> so it fell. And I had to wait till I was in a safe enough space to be able to get it put back up so I can complete this video. But I don't even know where I was. I don't know, but let me just say this, you all. I know it's going to be a concern about spacing. Like, how many trees can I put in my space? I just have a backyard or a side yard or a front yard. You know, I understand that we have in our mind the perception that trees need to be planted 20 feet apart, right? 30 feet apart, depending on the variety because they're going to get 20 feet wide and 40 feet tall or 30 feet tall. And trees, yes, that's absolutely true, that part. <laughs> because fruit trees can get pretty, pretty big, you all. Now, I've seen people, and I may have said this in the video, but I've seen people with 50 trees in a backyard. I've seen broke farmer he's growing over a hundred and some odd trees a lot of them are in containers a lot of them are in the ground but he's going to be putting in a lot of trees in his space right now how do you fit so many in a small space and it's simple it's pruning pruning okay pruning you control how tall you want the tree to get. 
and you control how wide you want the tree to get on all sides okay you control it and if you can control that by pruning the tree and there are specific times of the year when you do that right but you want to prune the trees to make sure that they stay the height and the width that you want them to be so that you can easily reach the fruits that they're producing right you want to be able to harvest them easily you don't you don't want to have to get on a 20-foot ladder to reach your fruits so you want to have your tree at a height that's workable and a width that's manageable okay so that's what you're going to want to do is prune them back now another question that i think i saw in the comments of the previous video was well mrs h don't you need to have pollinators for all those different trees some of them will require a pollinator some trees require a pollinator but not all of them do some will do just fine without a pollinator but it's up to you to do your research like if i'm i'm shopping for a tree and i don't know very much about it before i purchase that tree i'm going to do me some research on it like what pollinator does the tree need if it needs one at all and what variety what variety should i purchase as a pollinator because there will be some varieties best for a specific tree over others so you can have multiple pear trees but there are some that will be a, a a better pollinator for i don't know any kind of pear like a bartlett is a good pollinator for most pear trees right so you have to do your own research on what type of pollinator you need but then again like there are some trees that don't require that right there are some trees that don't require a lot of chill hours okay now here in Georgia we get citrus I always 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 try to get my citrus from a place right here in Georgia okay now again we're gonna go over these places where these nurseries where I will order certain fruit trees from but my citrus comes from a citrus grower right here in Georgia so I don't get, well, 90% 90, 90 of it does. But some of the citrus I get from a nursery that is somewhere else, right? They're in the U.S., of course. But I'll get it from other places just depending on what it is. All right? So you have to do your research for, like, where to buy your trees from. I always try to get them locally. My trees, I try to get them locally. Okay, but you all, I think that's pretty much it for the video. <laughs> Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Look, just get the food in the ground, right? Just get the trees in the ground if you can. Just get them in the ground. Now, some places like Wally World if they have fruit trees available and you receive certain benefits that is considered a food a food item so you'll be able to go with your benefits and get your fruit in tree form okay so just keep that in mind <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all that's gonna do it for this video again i really hope you found it helpful because you know i love doing videos like this especially when i get excited about something like these trees are just i'm loving these trees and then our our little food forest is coming along so nicely we've been working so hard in that food forest to try to make it into something and I know the trees that we've had in containers for a long time are so excited probably to be getting out of those containers and getting in the ground. And that's another thing. I'll say this before I wrap up the video, you all. 
you can put your trees in containers just make sure it's a nice big container okay my trees were in 17 gallon tubs for years all right and actually I don't mind doing them that way just simply because like if I can really like nurture the tree in that container for the next year or so to give it an opportunity to develop for the roots to get established and the stalk to get a little thicker you know I can really like nurture it and take care of it and baby it in that container until it gets to you know a nice size and then the next spring or two springs after I'll try to go ahead and get it in the ground right so yeah you can grow them in a container just make sure your containers are large enough to support the growth of that tree all right it don't if, if the tree came in a three gallon container please put it in something much larger okay much much larger all right that's what I would do just don't give up on growing fruit trees if that's what you want to do because you're concerned that you can't put it in the ground you can put it in a container and if you put it in a container and you feel like you're gonna to have to move it around make sure your container is a nice strong one okay so that it won't just fall apart when you get ready to move it from place to place if you should happen to need to do that all right so y'all that's gonna do it those varieties are like fire and it's a variety I forgot to tell y'all about avocado <laughs> here in Georgia I have struggled to find an avocado variety that is cold hardy enough to survive temperatures that can dip down in our area in the 20s right but this local grower all those trees that you saw at the box store that I showed you came from the same place to avocados I have never heard of this variety before I can't call the name of it right now but I had never heard of the variety before and when I looked at it I started looking it up before I even picked up the the plant because I was like mm, let me see and so when I did the research on it I forgot how cold hardy it was down to what temperature but it was pretty low right and so I'm like man where has this avocado been all my life right and I think the avocados are a little smaller than the Haas avocados but they are still avocados <laughs> and Mr. H and I love avocados so yes yes after I did my little quick research on the tree to see how well it would do in my area and how well it has done for others in a zone similar to mine I was convinced and yes I got me an avocado you all the avocados and we got them from that same location that I shared with you earlier the same location yes indeed yes indeed and those avocados did not stay there very long those were some of the first trees that we saw back in early March when we first started looking at the trees there and they were first getting the trees in and they had a pallet full of them it was a lot of them right they didn't come in a big container. I think they were in a little three gallon container. But you all, they had a lot of them. I picked up two. I picked up two. Because I just wanted to make sure, hey, something happened to one. Hopefully I got a backup, right? So I picked up two. And lo and behold, I went back to that same location. Just a couple of weeks later, they had none. All of the avocados were gone right so y'all now is the time to try to get your hands on those trees as they're bringing them in to your big box store uh, like I said I found these at the orange box store the home depot right so that's why I found mine okay you all so look go have a look at your local home depot if you have one in your area see what they got and hit them up style <laughs> All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel and thank you again for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video gotta grow them groceries